welcome back welcome if you're new i am so foolish girl i'm so happy to be back let me know let me know let me know how are you feeling i am a super high vibe spirit having the greatest human experience with you right here right now Ooh, pile number one we're just gonna add another card take your time pick your pile pile number two thank you yes Pile number three. Please keep in mind this is a collective reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Pile number three. Okay. This is going to be a quick one because I do want to get back to my collective readings. I caught a vibe. But then I was like, hmm. Higher self was like, let's do this. Pile number one, if you pick the citrine crystal, how does he, she, they feel about me? Get under or on top of another to get over them. They want to put a baby inside you. What the what? Okay, so right away what I'm getting from this is... This energy is giving me, like, <laughs> this person's paranoid that if you, <sighs> they could po possibly be constantly looking, making you look over your shoulder. You could be dealing with someone who's insecure. Even if you think they're not here, me out. This person is hiding something about their confidence, okay? Um, for some of you, be careful. If you do not want to, to have a child, this person could be wanting to literally, they want your genes, femme or masculine, okay? They want your genetics. I'm hearing they want to procreate with you because they like your BO, they like the way you walk, they like, they like the way you talk. They are kind of obsessed with your siblings, I'm hearing. So for some of you, you could, like if you know this person, these are going to be specific messages. So um, get under or on top so for some of you you could have dated one of their friends or it's like so someone could be telling them that you're loose <laughs> this is the realest reading of your life holler at me if this resonates i really i really want to know um because i'm hearing so clear that someone is definitely telling them like oh you know you get over people or you're you're not committal or or it could be vice versa like the person you're dealing with, they're non-committal. It's like, they don't want to see, someone doesn't want to see you with this person, but how this person is actually feeling, their energy is coming through strong. So for some of you, this could be someone who already has children or and maybe it wasn't a healthy relationship in the past. This person is definitely like, they know that someone else wants you to have their child or maybe you do already okay and it's like oh my god oh my god oh my god if i don't make them commit and some this person wants you to commit and i'm also hearing submit so this person could definitely be into some sort of bdsm or just someone who likes someone who is really bossy i was gonna pull three from this deck but i'm just gonna move on and Let's see what I have here in my, because this is a spread that I created for you guys. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's just see what are their thoughts with the melanin and romance. I love this deck. This gives me a lot of intuitive, clairvoyant insights. Um... Yeah, what are their thoughts? Because, yeah, this person is scheming like a demon. I'm hearing that for some of you. 
Um, this could definitely be a lawyer or someone who is just like really great with communication. I'm not trying to turn this into anything negative. I'm always giving my intentions, all right, are always to give the highest good. This person is... Okay, they really think about how you seduce them. They feel like you seduce them. <laughs> Their subconscious thoughts. <laughs> is upset like if you have been in any way um in a foreplay-ish type of mood with them like or if you've had ice cream with them like they oh God, they just can't, they are obsessed with their lips they're obsessed with like how you chew your food this is somebody what are their subconscious thoughts okay so your subconscious thoughts are what's manifesting so you would know what this person you would know, okay, what their conscious thoughts are, not subconscious. This is their conscious thoughts, okay? This is what they really think about, and this is why you can't make this up. Whoever picked this pile, you're, you're about to get married, okay? You're about to get engaged. If you're not, you're going to be celebrating some type of renewal or... Like your marriage is gonna be celebrated in some way. This, this, this. The, their, their conscious thoughts are: you please them in so many ways. Just your energy is is wifey material. Like your vibe is: you're so wise. You are. Um, for some of you, you could be writers or authors or potential. Um, public speakers of some sort it's just like their conscious thoughts are like they they want you to share your knowledge with the world but then they also love the secrets like i'm hearing um a lady in the sheets a freak in the sheets so i mean take that how it resonates in terms of your gender but yeah, some of you could be really sexual, okay, when it's one-on-one, -on -one, like very intimate, and they love that, okay, so this is what they think about a lot, they think about a lot, and they read all of your emails, all of your texts, everything you're sending, saying to them, they're reading all of this, they are just like hanging on every word that you say to them, so be careful what you're saying to them. Some of you definitely could like wearing the color white, um, purple, gray is coming through. Let's just see with the tarot really quick. Um, what else do you need to know about them? And you know, what are their next move? All right, what do you need to know about them? And um, what's their next move? What are they gonna do next? Okay, communication is definitely coming through. For some of you, this person is going to introduce you to a pet. They're going to show you or they're going to like invite you to a party and their pet is important. For some of you, their pet is important. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming through. Could be any sign, okay? But yeah, they're going to introduce you to, if they have a pet, they're going to introduce you. If they have a child, not compare a child to a pet. That is not my intentions. I'm just channeling information, okay? Someone who is near and dear to them, but definitely I'm seeing an animal, but I'm also hearing that it could be... Um, some family, friends, close relatives. Okay, let's see. What? They definitely want something to change. This person likes change. They like, yeah, because it's what do you need to know about them and what are they going to do next? They are going to surprise you. So now that I just thought about this, why, why did I hear family or children? See on the back of, uh, this is the vice versa tarot. So yeah, for some of you, yeah, they could invite you to meet some relatives or their children, especially if this person is a bit older, okay? If they're younger, then, you know, maybe they've been married before or their their parents, 
there's a lot. Their parents put them on some sort of pedestal and you're, you're gonna be different for them. So this could be very different, a very different connection. I'm sorry about the lighting guys, I'm working on it. So yeah, this could be very, a very different experience. Very different and just be prepared for them to surprise you. Okay, the number 13, the number 113 could be significant. The number 23 could be significant. Um, for some of you, this could be someone from your childhood or they could feel like they've known you from the past. This person, what you need to know is like they like to be comfortable in their relationships. And if you were feeling like they're not interested or they owe you an apology or some sort some form of communication this person is gonna come through and they're literally gonna brighten your day this person also feels like they're the, they're just kind of shy so you might want to do some outlandish things you know or maybe you're just like that in general could be cancer pisces scorpio coming through could be any sign um Let's just see, what do you need to know about them? And what are they going to do next? Yeah, it could be dealing with a Libra. Um, for, for a lot of you watching this, I feel like this person's gonna basically tell their friends and family about you or tell someone really close to them about you, okay? <sighs> Um, for others of you, yeah, they might want to introduce their, their child or children to you. And for some of you, this could just be so new. You could just be surprised by some theatrical scene, okay? Maybe they want to take you somewhere really extravagant and creative on a date. So, yeah, you could expect that too. Um... Let's see, and you might be choosing between two people here, okay? Or this person could be dealing with you and someone else, okay? So just keep that in mind. For some of you, yeah, it really could be work. So if you're thinking that it's someone else, just ask for guidance. If you if you should like really start seeing somebody else or thinking this person really isn't as into you as you think they are or there's someone else, like that's kind of your advice. Number four, um, let's get some more words of advice based off of what they want to say, right? I don't remember where these are because I'm going to put some of them back. Okay, so... What do they want to say and what's your advice? <sighs> File number one. Be more selfish. And let me hold you. So for me, I feel like this person is obviously hot and cold. Back and forth. Especially if this is an on again, off again connection, and no matter even if you guys are like together, even it's like this person has some sort of mood swing. So, if I were you, I really would be very clever about how I speak to them. I would be very clever and I would be assertive, but like clever, clear in my communication as as well as my boundaries some of you have already said you're going to give them seven weeks seven months or something like that and like or it's been like the number seven is significant for change and it's like you can feel it so it's like if you're not in the mood for them and their mood swings then let this person know and if they want to if they want to hold you then they need to give more let them know that you need more balance in your connection or you need them to be more assertive. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a Libra. Um, Gemini Aquarius Libra. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here. Pile number 
one thank you so much for watching and we're just gonna go right into pile two Namaste pile three if you chose this black tourmaline this is your reading so how do they feel um wow you know the timing is off don't push it control your anger or you will regret it okay so for some of you oh my god like this file is intense i was not expecting this at all it's kind of seems like you guys might be getting into it or just having some some i don't know this person they're giving me like they like to blame shift so if you're dealing with someone who likes to kind of blame shift and make it seem like it's all your fault that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting also you could just this person feels like maybe you make them feel like they need to be careful what they say but this is more of like what their subconscious thoughts are about you so how they subconsciously feel is kind of like maybe you have something going on or maybe you don't trust them this person definitely <clears throat> feels like they want to dominate for okay it's two vibes i'm getting control your anger or you will regret it for some of you i feel like this person makes you feel like you need to walk on eggshells and some of you could even be trying to get away with it from this person but you just kind of want to know what's up what's the energy what's the vibe like where are they at okay um for some of you if you're thinking about going back to this person it's like the timing is off okay it's just they could be feeling something but don't rush it don't press the issue like don't pressure them if this person is running if this especially if this is a twin flame dynamic if you know that you're in a twin flame connection don't rush the situation don't pressure them give them their space do not be the teacher don't be the teacher, like, logically. Be the teacher spiritually. Love yourself first. And let this person kind of just run if they want to run. Um, if this is not, I'm, it's, I'm just hearing so many messages right now. A lot of messages are coming through from these because obviously this is a collective reading. So there are many um, scenarios and relationships. So I'm receiving what I'm guided to. Um, for some of you, yeah, this person kind of feels like they know that they need to control their anger, control their mood, because if they don't, they're going to lose you. So, yeah, they could definitely be trying to style step with you and, like, play their moods a certain way. But let's just see. What are they consciously aware of that they're thinking about you and that they're thinking about this connection for my pile and number two namaste let's see okay they love your hugs you could give really good hugs and it's like you've been through so much i feel like they love your family too um if they've met your family if if you have not this person look at that commitment you know that's why i love shuffling on camera because you can see these cards as they're coming out it's so honest it's so innocent it's so real it's so raw and yeah they just feel like man especially if this could be a biracial couple okay uh, multicultural i'm hearing 
their conscious thoughts of like you would get along with their siblings their siblings would get along with 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 yours and um someone likes the way you smell here you smell really good and yeah for some of you if you are not committed to this person like if if you guys are just dating just talking and just mingling and right okay all of my readings all of my readings are real my my cards don't lie my vibe is right okay so i'm just saying this is a committed relationship that's that's coming okay and it's like maybe you had to put them in their place maybe you had to check this person maybe you let this person know what time it is and for some of you it's like you know the timing is off don't don't push it the universe is saying maybe this person is thinking about being ready to commit but then it's like you're bringing it up too much that's a sidebar for some of you if you know that that's in the cards for you that's what you want this is this is your absolute 100 percent confirmation for some of you, you could be seeing the number five 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 seven 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 um i'm hearing 16 the number 26 for some of you, you could have been with this person for a long time or you could have met on the 16th something about the 16th is significant this person feels like you are their soulmate and they kind of feel like why would i be with anybody else so if you feel like you have a jealous streak or if you need to overshare your love oh i just love when the readings are intense like this and it's like one message after the other and i'm able to harness that energy this person is intense this love is real and i just kind of feel like yeah if you're if you're pile number two this could be leading to something really truly serious but i'm hearing that it's after you've been through a lot so maybe not if you could have been through a lot on your own before this. If you've been through a lot with this person or you have been through a lot on your own. Just breathe with me and know, okay, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, especially with this person. Don't compare yourself to this person's past or past people that this is new and they're looking at you like this connection is so new to them like your vibe and your energy is so fresh and so new to them and they just love your company they love being around you and if you if their love language is touch and that is not your love language then you need to go find somebody else because this person loves to touch they love cuddling, they love ho hugging, they love dogs. For some of you, they love hogs, like literal pigs. This person could have a farm and <laughs> someone's on my yard. Or they just love eating bacon. What the what? Why is my, why, why am I hearing all of this, this funniness? This person is funny. They have a great sense of humor and that's how you're gonna know this person if you're not with this person and you're just watching this just know that this is how your person's going to be and this is kind of the characteristic you should check out for this person is also going to be into heavy um when they think about being with you and they think about being with commitment the way i'm looking at this tourmaline which is protection i just saw some like cameras around the house so this person could like if you've been with this person for a while or like if you're with this person, this person like is camera is just like they're gonna wanna watch and see every single thing that you're doing, where you're going, and they're gonna want cameras all around the house, I'm hearing, all around the condo, all around the cars. This is someone who's gonna be you're gonna be out to dinner with them and they're gonna be looking at what's going on while you guys are like across the, the world this is gonna be someone who likes to travel and they have been thinking about wanting to travel with you that's what they're thinking about let's see um let's get some more like what do you need to know about them and what are they gonna do next 
okay for pile number two i'm also hearing yeah this person could like to wear black or they could just love driving black cars this person could have a black card Ooh, this person could be a gemini could be any sign but this could definitely be this person kind of chills you this is a choosy kind of person um this is someone who's very intuitive And there's a lot of yin and yang. This is like the yin to your yang. This is a complete opposite of you. Um, but in the best way, this person, and that's what they're looking for. This person is looking for, and what you need to know about them is that they're looking for a long-term commitment. They're looking for a partner for life. If that's you, if that's your vibe, then yeah, like, good for you. That's what's up. Um, what do you need to know is this person might, for some of you, this person could have been married before or in some sort of serious commitment and they're starting over with you or they are looking for love. This person, I don't care what, this person loves being in a relationship and they love being married. So if you're seeing this person and you want commitment, this is your person. Balance is very important. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. This person likes to look at things from all angles and like fairness is so important to them. This person can be very spiritual, very religious, very judiciary. For some of you, this person could work in the law industry or a court or this person could literally just be like a pastor or apostle or involved in the church okay some form of spiritual um i'm not gonna say what i just heard because i just feel like i don't like to get too detailed with certain things but definitely this is someone who is they just want to be fair and they want so for some of you this person could feel like you know they want someone who has something to offer to the table financially and also if you have already been giving a lot this person knows that enough is enough they need to start investing more and being more present in the connection um, this person feels like at times like your 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 intuition is off like you're not seeing things clearly um, Yeah, we got the high priestess in reverse Okay, cancer Pisces Scorpio energy could be Taurus energy this person and they, they kind of feel like mm, Like especially if you're getting angry or if there are arguments or if things are like if your timing is off or like if you if you are accusatory or Comparing this person to anyone in the past, this person can feel like, why are you like that, okay? And also, if this person has something to hide, this person knows that you're going to find out. And that you maybe you even play like you're not that upset. And also, this person, what you need to know is what they're going to do next is this person... <sighs> They're going to try to do the right thing. And the reason why I say that is because... We do have this Knight of Pentacles here, and this is this is an energy that's, that's coming towards this High Priestess in Reverse. It's coming towards, it's like, oh, you know, I'm going to try. They're going to give you something. If they haven't been giving you what you want, expect something, but it's still, you might feel like it's not enough. Whatever it is that they're bringing to the table, you might feel like it's, it's just not enough. But know that they are coming with a solid offer. For some of you, yeah, you might get an engagement ring, but it might be smaller than what you saw. But just wait, because I definitely feel like this person has a lot of tricks up their sleeve. Okay, especially if you are dealing with a Gemini. That's just something that wanted to come through for someone specifically. Okay, so let's just see what is their advice and what do they want to say really quick. Thank you so much for watching. So don't forget to click the notification bell like 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 a like and subscribe it really helps me a lot when you do that what do they want to say and what is your advice off the top of my head thank you um 
Wow, I love this repetition. You have so many choices and options. So this person definitely feels like you're not sitting around waiting for them. They know this because that's the six of pentacles and this is also the six of pentacles. So I would just say if you've been putting your foot down and maybe some of you got angry, like that's why you gotta watch my whole reading, all right? It's a story, it all comes together, right? So yeah, if you got angry and you kinda put them in their place, just know that you did the right thing. You did the right thing by letting them know what's up, letting them know how you feel, okay? And if, if you feel like, you know, so you have so many choices and options, maybe people are telling them what this gossip only hurts, um, that you get around town. Okay, what is this? Are you looking at that? That next to, I imagine you naked, gossip only hurts. Your advice is like, don't send them anything explicit unless it's com a committed relationship. Or send them less. Don't send them to it's something about like, just don't. Oh my gosh, why am I hearing like, don't send them the same thing you said? Somebody. What y'all out here doing? Did you send somebody something that you sent them? I don't know. I'm just saying the advice is to, yes, thank you so much. Thank you to my spirit guides. Thank you so much. Higher self, thank you so much. So this person can pick up what you're saying telepathically. They can pick up your vibe telepathically. Like, don't talk bad about this person. They can feel that. They can read that energy. And there could be someone close to you or them that reminds you of them. Just refrain from feeling comfortable talking about this person in a negative way. Okay? That's all I have, Pile 2. Thank you so much. See you soon. Namaste. Namaste, Pile 3. If you chose this crystal, and I should say... <laughs> the real pile three and maybe you should watch pile two because i i called pile two pile three so maybe go back and watch that it might be res um some of the messages might resonate with you this crystal i cannot think of the name of this crystal but i love to have this crystal really close to me when i'm doing personal readings um, physically having on my body this is really helps to heighten your intuition so if anyone knows who what this crystal I don't know why I cannot remember this but I love this crystal for heightening my intuition so you definitely could be feeling a close intuitive connection with this person um, let's see what are their subconscious thoughts if they love you rip their clothes off and love them harder if you can't have the one you want, be the person that everybody else wants. So their subconscious thoughts are that you're just super hot. Like they feel like everybody wants you. Everybody wants to be with you. <laughs> um, this person could feel like they need to have a high sex drive, okay? <laughs> To be with you, if you've been with this person intimately and maybe you told this person or like they're not enough or they're not doing whatever you need them to be doing right now in terms of day-to-day -day task. A lot of these, these readings are spicy, but each pile I feel is different, okay? So yeah, I just kind of feel like with this one, it's like... They feel like you're you're an overly sexual person. Like, are you overly sexual? Do you enjoy sex? Like, do you have a high libido? I feel like this is your pile. Give me a second. Let me breathe. This person also feels like... Mm, you can get over people fast. So for some of you, if this is an on again, off again situation, they know you could easily move on and get somebody else. If you don't think that about yourself, that's what this person secretively thinks about you. They, they know you'll get over. Like, I don't know, maybe 
maybe for some of you, you've done some stuff in the past and like, or maybe this person has and you're just like, you don't trust them. I just feel like that timing to like, you know, nest and mesh, the meshing, the physical meshing, it, it needs to take place in this situation, okay? Um, so yeah, this person, if you've been holding back, that this person's like, if you if you love me, love is an action word. We need to be getting it on. Well, like, especially if you've been on some like spiritual combat and like you you're finding yourself spiritually and like you're you're practicing abstinence. This person is just like, I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear any of that. Like, this person wants to be intimate with you. And this person wants intimacy. Now, for some of you, if you feel like this person is loose and that's not what you're into, then by all means, listen, they can go find somebody else. I'm hearing somebody say that, like, this person wants to move too fast. Take it how it resonates and always do what you're led to do, right? Let's get into their conscious thoughts. Like, what are they consciously... aware of that they think about when it comes to you and what are their conscious thoughts okay their subconscious thoughts at times can be what what is manifesting right um so this person they're seeing you as the queen bee to be honest with you they could feel like you have a lot of rules a lot of like structure a lot of ways you want things to be done for some of you, you could be like flight attendants, I'm hearing that, or you like to travel. Um, they also feel like maybe you speak multiple languages. They just feel like you own the room, like you are the room, you are the energy, and they love that they're so attracted to your timing. Like if you're on time, they are so attracted to that. For some of you, you could be really good with numbers, mathematics, like they're just like, ooh, how three is lit. And literally I did, I did decide to light the candles on this last reading. For some reading, for some reason, I do what's led in my readings, okay? Um, this person feels like your communication is on par. Like with this queen bee energy, they're loving it. They're eating you up. Stability, they just feel like, yes. You're not only a good lover, but you're really good in bed. If you if you don't have this energy, if you're not with this person, this is, this is how they're going to feel about you. And this is definitely what's coming towards you. So, yeah. Even if you're talking to a person and it's fresh, it's, it's new. It's like, they feel like they could just take it off and get with you. And like it's fine if they love you rip their claws they this person's gonna fall in love with you at first sight for some of you they feel like this is love at first sight don't let this person love bomb you listen I'm all about that you create your own reality I'm all about that God energy I'm all about that energy but at the same time I am a Taurus guys so I'm a very practical and log logical person I just kind of feel like sometimes that old school energy that old school approach is appropriate sometimes you need a little bit of spirituality religion or old school some parts of religion I hear some of you like what some of it led you to where you are spiritually right but what i'm saying is that stability they're attracted to that they're attracted to this is what they want this is what they think about you like if this is your whole vibe like if you're able to be sexy and spiritual and religious at the same time this person is definitely attracted to that they're they're attracted to someone who like like pays their bills on time like if you're a masculine watching this and it's like you have great credit and <laughs> you're a great kisser like you can like french kiss it down some of you speak french right some of you they're like oh if only if only if only if only 
they knew okay <laughs> because yeah someone's definitely holding back here with this queen bee um they're attracted to that they just feel like there's so much strength behind that bitch energy i don't know why i'm hearing that like if some of you are, are like bitchy transformation you just you it's like you almost surprise them every day with you is like a great surprise a reward it's like man i didn't even expect this there's this constant evolution here with the butterflies. Um, you give this person butterflies? Because I'm hearing Michael Jackson in my head, butterflies. So you give them butterflies. And it's because of the way you change. You are just so down to earth. And it's like you could speak, curse someone out in French and then like make some freaking... <laughs> um tacos and nachos and like it's just weird okay it's like who is this person right they're attracted to how you change things maybe you change your hair or you change your appearance or maybe you're just so open-minded right some of you i'm definitely getting that you could be a libra sagittarius um Aquarius, right? Oh, they're just attracted to your, why am I here soliciting? I don't know why. I don't even know what that means. I don't want to know what that means, but it's just divine feminine energy. It's just like you know exactly when and what and how to say things. You own the night. You own the day you own energy you own energy when you walk into a room and that's kind of what they think about um if someone's in a bed i literally just split the deck i put it down and then i just split i just want to see what was gonna come up yeah this person feels like um yeah with this stability and family to find somebody else like if you guys have been having issues or problems or like if you don't want to have kids with them or it's just heartbreaking to them they do want to have a family with you and you know they could be ready to transition so it's like if you know if you're ready they're ready don't be afraid to just let them know what's on your mind let them know what's up express yourself talk to them um this person definitely sees you as family you know um or they could be desperately wanting to have a child with you. Because this is kind of giving me Empress energy. And yeah. So with the Divine Feminine and the family. Yeah, I definitely get that. Mm, this person is definitely ready to take it to the next level. Some of you could be seeing 1111. All right. Um... But I definitely just saw 1111. And this person, like, sharing is so important to them. So, if you don't need this person financially, this is just for some of you. Because for others of you, yeah, they, I'm telling you, if you don't need this person financially in any way, or if you just act that way, this person is attracted to that. But this person still wants to be a provider they want to be able to take care of you we know during your trimester period okay this is definitely for those of you that are wanting to con conceive or expecting to conceive or anything of that nature um oh my god so many this could happen really fast i'm hearing so if you've just recently met a person this person's gonna try to move really quickly and the reason i said that because i just felt myself jumping the gun you know like jump the gun jumping ahead i'm every 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 vibe every energy counts right um it's what i'm hearing like this person is definitely very calculated this person's oof, oh my goodness okay what do you need to know about this person definitely you could have met this person abroad you could have met this person on a trip or you could have met this person online 
Um, this person could definitely be a Leo, a Sagittarius, a Taurus, or a Scorpio. Saying all that because I just saw the world card. Um, let's see what else. Ooh, you could have met this person at a party or someone's celebration or a, a opening of a, of a house. This person could definitely be into real estate. This person is a people person and home their home is very very important to them 1313 13 for some of you okay definitely could be dealing with a scorpio could be dealing with an aries leo sagittarius this is definitely someone who is ready to get married ready to settle down someone who's family oriented and you know this person definitely with the stability card yeah they could be wanting to get a home with you okay um with this four of wands right um this person could be a homebody or this person could like be feeling ill and if you haven't heard from them or you're wanting to talk to them that's for some of you i'm hearing that message come through really strongly this person's not feeling well this person's contemplating and they thinking of thinking of the past i'm hearing like past regrets past heartbreaks this person sometimes gets into a dark space gets into a dark head space gets into a darker lower frequency and it, it affects their their clarity at times definitely could be dealing with a gemini aquarius libra cancer um don't know why i said cancer i'm gonna say capricorn but some of you yes could be dealing with cancer um this person definitely is like oh my god like I can't handle being hurt again so this person doesn't want to be hurt and this person is definitely not looking to hurt you so their next move and what you need to know is yeah this person's gonna be straight up with you like this person is a warrior they're gonna fight for your connection so if you're dealing with someone who's weak and who's not willing to fight you know and put the devil in the past some of you could this could be a workaholic and it's like don't give this person such a hard time when it comes to that you know um i have one of my 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 favorite date dating coaches you know if this person's like they're hung up on work it's the same as them cheating on you that depends on how your lifestyle is okay yeah for some of you it just just take it how it resonates some relationships are worth fighting for this person will fight for you but you also could be dealing with a workaholic someone who's stubborn and like oh my god but it's like when they when they give their attention to you it's gonna be so worth it for some of you for others of you be careful of this person being manipulative okay be careful of dealing with some some level of manipulation this person is very clever okay and they hide some of their mischievous behaviors um they do and they do they do like to travel some of you yeah this person likes to travel so just be careful and kind of believe what you see with this tower so if this person is constantly bringing like there's constant drama they're, they're, you notice patterns of this person kind of being cheeky with you or sharp or just cold aloof um or being this devil energy maybe they like to party any, any of those red flags just just be aware of that but at the end of the day the core of what this person wants is to settle down so um that's just a message that wanted to come through let's get some advice what they want to say and then we're gonna leave it here what do they want to say and your advice What do they want to say to my pile three advice? What do they want to say in child advice about what they want to say? Oh, that's too many. Oh. take the top one this person wants to say that um that they would do anything for you yeah they would they would do anything for you i really do believe that especially if you walked away from this person if you walked away from them yeah I dream about you a lot too much. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy coming through really strong, heavy in this. 
this person's dreamy and they they just imagine like fixing things if there was a problem or the perfect life and yeah i'm getting a strong thumbs up from my my guides um from my higher self yeah this could be a strong like um indication that they're seeing signs and synchronicities about you and they just kind of know intuitively that you're the right person for them and they need to step up to the plate there is this theme of them being afraid to to lose you you're my everything but they're not sure if you feel the same way and or you might feel like yeah they feel like you don't believe them but rightfully so if this person has difficulties changing if they have difficulties showing you a different version of themselves like if they're not giving you the, the attention you want if they're not giving you the love and affection that you need of course you're gonna feel like yeah do you dream about me so they feel like maybe they need to do something um your family won't like me so yeah i kind of get the vibe that maybe this person could already have been married before or religious factors anything that's coming up like you guys would know better than i do but i definitely get the like this person is just they think so much they think so freaking hard about everything okay um the number three could be significant, okay? The number 10, I'm saying 10, 10 could be significant. Let's just get some more advice. I like, when it comes to, don't overthink it. Don't, don't pressure them about their family. Like, don't be nervous when you meet their family. Just be yourself. Their family is actually gonna like you. If some of you think that, or maybe you tell them that, and they're like, that's not true. That's coming through, like, wait. Give it time. Don't be so pushy. And maybe some of you feel like you've been waiting for so long and you're so tired and fed up of waiting and you just want to move on already. Just know that nothing happens before it's time. I just got um, a thumbs up from my higher self, my spirit guides. So yeah, just wait it out and be a little bit more patient with them because yeah, this person seems to be impatient. So maybe you give them some sort of great balance i feel like you guys got a longer reading i'm gonna leave it here pile three thanks again for watching namaste i'll see you soon peace and love